so last class uh, we had discussed about uh, what is ansible and uh, so what is the ansible and what is the advantage of ansible and uh, how how to set up uh, ansible and all already we seen right so anyone any doubt yesterday class see here ansible is an uh, so automation engine that automates software provisioning configuration management and also application deployment so if anyone is asking uh, what is ansible ansible is an open source automation engine that automates what we can automate software provisioning and also configuration management and also application deployment okay <laughs> automate means uh, repetitive installations repetitive installations whatever you want also repetitive installations and also you know right uh, see here installation part uh, if you have any configuration part uh, so that and all uh, we can do it the main thing is uh, so reusable library of automation so mostly reusability so instead of uh, instead of setup instead of installing each and every mission so with the help of ansible we can easily automate it okay <laughs> now so coming to here uh, so if you want to work with ansible so if you want to work with ansible you need at least two servers one is ansible server other one is what you want host mission correct anyone try to set up anyone install one second i forgot password now so yesterday i set up uh, so ansible right if you go to here so one is so one is i created so what is this uh, so if you go to here instances so one is ansible server and another one is ansible host let me start both i am going to create uh, one more also today we'll see how it will work so this is very simple only ms paint and uh, so if you want to work with ansible if you want to set up ansible at least we need two instances at least we need how many instances two instances how many instances two instances so one is ansible one is ansible server one is ansible server the other one is host mission one is ansible server so other one is also host so this is the and now i'm yesterday already we added one right today i am going to add uh, so one more host so how these two are connecting guys this is the ansible server this is the host one and uh, so this is the host two how these are connecting with the help of hmm. yesterday we set up right how these are connecting with the help of s s h archpanara how these are connecting s s h it is the ansible yeah. server this is the ansible server this is also host but only one mission we are going to install we are going to install ansible and the remaining all are the host missions this is the host too <laughs> now here already there is a one file what is the file name host file what is the file name host file under this file so we can create one group we can create one group whatever you want we can create so yesterday i created one group what is the group name devops suppose if you want to connect how ansible server no we can connect with this host mission you can connect with this host mission like this every host mission have one ip address right every host mission have yes. one ip address or host name whatever it may be this ip or host names we need to add in our also host file 
so for example this is the one uh, this mission host type is pen dot one dot one dot just i am giving one so just assume uh, this host ip so this is the pen dot pen dot one dot one dot two so like this we are creating multiple groups in our host file under the groups we are going to add all your host ips now ansible knows if you run if you run any command so now ansible server connect with this all host machines and it is executing same command in all machine that's it for example i want to install a git software how to install git package m install git hyphen i this is a command i know now this command we are executing here m m install m install git hyphen y so before we are using some command ansible command ansible this is the actual command so we are using here this is the ad hoc commands anyway we'll see if i run this command here now ansible server first read this file first read this file so now in this group how many host machines added two host now ansible server connected this host machine and both machine it is installing this whatever query we are executing here what is whatever command we are executing here same command it is executing all host machines not only two for example if we configure 10 host in 10 host machines it is executing now got it clear anyone any doubt here no, this is simple now let me come to here now this is ready now this is the server first let, let me connect with my server ansible server copy this and go to here this is my pm file now if i go to here right click so this is same story only now paste it now yes control plus plus okay now this is the ansible how i know ansible server type ansible iphone iphone version which mission this is the host or uh, server so where we can see ansible package ansible software this is the ansible server see here 2.15 this is the latest version this is the server same way let me connect uh, my host also go to here go to here click on uh, see here click on here and uh, this is the host click on connect copy this one copy this one go to here go to here right click and uh, so git bash here just paste it yes sir. now control plus plus now see here do we have ansible package here ansible software available or not this is a host right do we need to ansible in host also not not no, no sir no need see here only one mission we need to install the ansible software others are the host mission no need to do anything now go to here go to here now what is the default ansible installation path guys td space slash etc slash ansible under ls yesterday i created one file host file this is the default file name cat space host cat space host now see here what is my what is my host ip 110 check it whether this is same ip or not 110 correct or not correct or not this is my host right 172 dot 172 dot 31 dot 0 dot 110 correct or not see now which file i added this is the host file under the host file what is this guys first one group name what is this group name we can give any name so generally in real time we are giving like this generally in real time we are giving uh, so like this group name so generally in real time uh, so we are giving uh, so uh, group name like this we are passing where is my i don't know come to here this one okay mm -hmm okay so here uh, so real time we are creating group names so generally that group names and all so that is the 
web servers just assume this is the web servers and this is a group under this group we can add all web servers ips or host names and db servers suppose i want to install something db servers so this is the db servers this is my group name under this i am going to add all db servers host name for example this is application server this is the application servers application servers so servers so under we are going to add all ips and all so this is the group in every group we can add ip address so yesterday i run one command what command i run see here ansible ansible group name for example here i given the webs and iphone m module name iphone m is nothing but module name and which command i used yesterday ping command now i'm checking whether this ansible server able to communicate with this my host machine or not this is a command ansible group name iphone m m is nothing but model name ping model you know what is ping command check the connectivity between your server to host same command let me run here same command so let me run here also same command so let me run here this is my server right so ansible dev apps iphone m what is the model name i want to check connectivity ping sir now see here now it is asking like uh, yes now see here unreachable unreachable why it is unreachable see here this key is not known by any other names or you want to continue yes uh, see fail it to permission denied 70 dot correct only right so now actually i am in uh, pwd so yesterday we created one user right what is the username we created i have to execute only that user yesterday we created one username what is the username yesterday i created one user right sudo iphone dev app right yes or no so here also i created one user host also su iphone dev apps Yes or no? Now see here, this is the DevOps user. In every host mission, yesterday I created one username, DevOps. Under the user only, I configure. Now check it here. Ansible, group name, DevOps, iPhone M, module name, ping command. Now it is connectivity or not check it. Now see here, earlier I got error message because I am a different user, right? So actually yesterday, I created one user common user in all missions and i did setup now this is okay now i am going to add one more mission now how to add it let me try it go to here click on instance create launch instance create launch instance and this is the ansible ansible uh, iphone host to i am giving host to now same linux mission pre-tier enough and uh, so this is also enough what is the key pair ansible and remaining same only and uh, so these are the existing yesterday i created this one i have okay select 8 gg enough that's it now i am going to add one more just assume uh, so now i am going to add uh, one more now i am going to add one more yesterday i added this ip now i am going to add one more host mission uh, tell me steps what are the steps now instance is ready once instance is ready next what i need to do now instance is ready next step what i need to do where is ansible host 2 created or not click on here just refresh it and uh, so running instance 3 so this is the initializing okay this is the host, host one just assume this is the host one and uh, so yesterday already I configure and this is a host too. Now today I, can, I am going to configure this one. Now, so now go to here. So first you need to create one user, right? See here, add user. Yes or no? First you need to execute this step. Next second, execute this command. Next, 
already this is done again do i need to do this one see here go to no, control sir. mission no already yesterday i done in server no need to do next so directly we can go we can do this step or directly we can use go to this and so we can update so what is this password based authentication we can give, make it as yes and uh, so now go to this is the path now restart the sshd and use this command that's it use this command that's it only we can execute this command or we can execute this command sir that is your wish now anyway i am going to execute this one now go to here let me connect this instance click on this click on the connect and click on the ssh copy this one and the same host file right same pm file go to here this is my pm file right click go to git bash open here paste it now yes now this is done uh, now what is the first step guys first go to root user sudo hyphen i these are the common steps only if you have any doubt ask me okay what is the first step guys follow documentation first copy this command i am creating one user that's it copy this command go to here just execute it so user was created now what is the next step we need to give we need to give add my user in sudo sudo permission that is sudo ers this is the sudo ers copy this manual also we can do or we can do copy and paste it both are same only so this is the file name sudo ers sudo ers is the one file under the sudo ers i am going to add my username that's it i hope you know what is this echo this content and all i am going to add this content in the file in the file that's it now copy this command copy this command copy this command copy this command just paste it that's it so that is also done now what you need to do these steps already yesterday we done in server no need to do anything now got it anyone any doubt guys here already yesterday i executed ss keys and in server right already that public and private key available in server mission again no need to execute same command clear now come to your here now switch to user switch to user which user i need to switch guys this user right correct check it sudo su hyphen devops now i am in which user devops user ls hyphen la so do we have any ss folder here dot ss no right now go to your server mission uh, which command we have to execute now check it so go first go to this file copy this command and go to here before that uh, let me go to root user just copy and paste it vi ect sshd config file go to this file click on insert button and there is a one we need to enable uh, password authentication so where is this file password authentication by default it is no we we have to change it to yes okay that's it see here avoid the cloud insert and also restart the ssd by default instance mission configuration just change it to yes already we noted here see here so password based authentication we have to enable so just I enable yes escape colon x that's it now what is the next step go to here go to here next restart the server copy this go to your client mission execute this one that's it done now what is the next step execute this command i want to copy i want to copy so in server mission in already server i have ssh key if you want to we can check it ls hyphen la now if you go to dot ss dot cd space dot sss folder we can see public and private key we can see public and private key so i want to copy this file public key to my client so now just assume uh, i am going to configure this mission i am going to configure this mission now i created one devops user 
and also I enable passwordless authentication and also uh, in sudo ers I added root permission also three steps done now coming to here we have to execute one command which command and so SSH SSH iPhone copy iPhone ID what is the user I created here DevOps DevOps at next IP address now same command let me execute here now go to here this one right sudo space devops mm -mm -mm. this is not available not here this is right okay now come to server server is 65 okay now what is the command ssh ssh iphone copy iphone copy iphone id paste what is the username which user you want to copy what is the ip of your host what is the ip of your host this mission right copy this ip 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 just update dot okay now no need to give ip this is the ip now see here i am executing this is the server or this is the host where i am running this command server or host 65 hmm. anyone where we have to execute this command ssh key where is available server where we have to run this command host or server or server server only okay now click it now see here are you sure you want to continue connecting yes now so it is asking password first time right already we set the password dev apps we set or not password we didn't set come to here set password also pass wd what is for which user dev apps user user dev apps user so i am giving uh, so whatever you want we can set it that's it now go to your host server now enter password now see here number of keys copied added one copy is one key is added so this is the this ip address now go to your host now check it su iphone dev apps su iphone dev apps and uh, so ls iphone l now see here can you see dot ss earlier we don't we can't see see here now we can see ss td space dot ssh under ss we can see authentication that's case now authentication keys now see automatically key is copied now if you observe here now now this is the key i generated here now this key available here also now this key available here also now how many this ansible server knows now ansible server can connect how many missions only one or two <laughs> two missions now check it whether it really working or not now go to here 65 same command now we have to update in host file also so see here cd space slash etc why i need to go to ansible host file we need to update right vi host sudo vi host sudo vi host okay now as of now i can we can see only one what about uh, other host mission ip address insert now already i hope i copied now paste it here no it is not copied mm, what is the ip anyone no second mission ip address okay leave it uh, escape colon let me copy it now where is this this is i think 195 
this is one one zero this is the host one and uh, so this is the 197 okay you need to copy this ip this is our uh, host one two copy this and uh, go to go to your go to your 65 go to your 60 197 65 this is 65 right now sudo sudo vi we need to add uh, so host ip that is host ip hmm. now insert no like this real time also we are going to add all host ips or host names whatever you want 172 dot 172 dot 31 dot 7 dot now got it see here so like this how many host you want to add in our server so we have to do we have to follow same steps and finally we need to update those ip address in our host file that's it now escape colon yes is it hello i am not sure ip address host name you want we can use host name or ip address that is your wish okay now see here now how to check both are connecting or not same ansible group name what is my group name iphone m iphone m what is the model name ping command now earlier we can see it is connecting only one machine now my ansible server can communicate with how many host only one or two two now check it see here the 172.31.0 .31 this is the one host mission now same way 172.31.0.197 this is the another host mission so like this we can add many host missions how many host you want to connect so like this we need to configure so now still anyone any doubt guys how to configure how to add one more host in your ansible server same no, steps no, no, no. same steps whatever we want we can follow same steps that's it now that is the one way this is the another way so we can follow this way also leave it this is the old method no need to worry and all now come to here so suppose i want to check connectivity now i want to check connectivity only one mission i want to check connectivity only one mission so that case so what is the command we can use like this also see here ansible ansible if you give group name means under this group how many host missions how many host ips we added all host ips it is checking i don't want all host i want to check particular ip particular mission only see here 172 dot 172 dot 31 dot 7 dot hmm, 197 i want to check which mission only one or both only one mission whether it is communicate or not see here now it is checking only particular mission for example i have a group right under this group i have i added a 50 host ips i don't want to connect all 50 ips i want to check only one host whether it is connecting or not okay so that case we can use this is the command so ansible space ip or host name space iphan m what is iphan m guys here model name ping is the model name so now we, now we need to understand one more thing ansible people they are providing many models nearly 3000 plus models they are providing with the help of those models we can easily we can easily configure we can easily automate whatever you want now if you go here ansible models if you go here ansible models this is the official website guys see here if you click on all models here we can see lot of models see here there is many models available no need to learn all these models 
no need to learn all these models based on our requirement based on your requirement based on client requirement based on your requirement finally so we are going to learn a particular model only see here nearly they are adding uh, so they are providing 3000 plus models but you don't worry you know right one model how to check ping model even search, if you search model ping this is the command so how to ping see here ansible dot built in dot ping model try to connect to host mission and verify the host mission see this is the one model now we can learn see here what is the ping model try to connect host verify and verify usable python or return the pong. how to check it so this is the string we have to pass it and we can check here also see here this is also one model this is one now this is the this is the playbook you don't know right so now we'll see later now as of now i executed ad hoc commands ad hoc commands is nothing but a single line command as of now i executed only single line command now there is one more model also is guys the setup model now i don't know what is setup model now see here setup model is nothing but uh, we can see some information about uh, see here ansible ansible devops ansible devops or same command i am going to execute ansible iphone ip address space iphone m what is the earner model setup set up now if you click on setup model now we can see some more information about your host mission now we know right uh, describe command in uh, describe what is describe command what is inspect command in docker same way setup is the one model with the help of model who, if you want to know more about your host mission so which operating system they are using so that and all you can check it see here this is my i given what is the host ip this is my host ip i given setup model so connectivity done what is the ip address and we can know more see here what is the ansible what is the date and time and what is the ansible default ip4 which ip we are using and what is the ipv6 and also we can see here ansible devices now see here some more loops and all so we can see models what are the models right now i am using null and uh, so vd what is the drive path and all and what is the ansible distribution i am using amazon 23 see so which region i am using see here ap south one and see here where this instance is running and uh, so what is the which uh, version i am using and what is the timestamp i am following what is the network mask what is ip6 mac id and what is the mac address so if you want to know we can know more about uh, your particular host suppose if i give ansible i am using also uh, devops in this case now anyone guess it i this is a model this is a group name right under this group so how many host missions available i added two hosts right now we can see two host mission information see here both two we can see both two missions both host missions so one is uh, what is this uh, so everything we can see so even can you see so this is the both whatever we given right uh, so that both and all we can see here so this is the one setup model suppose you don't know what is setup model just if you go here just type uh, ansible setup model ansible set up model so what is the purpose now see here so this model automatically called by playbooks to gather useful variables about remote host mission i want to know something about my remote mission so if you want to know remote mission information so that case we can use so that case we can use a setup model that case we can use a setup model so gather fact about remote host i want to gather some information about remote host so that case we can use a setup model so that case we can use also setup model now see here this is also one setup model now ansible i fun m setup and also service if you want to we can service this is different 
so now if you want to know something i want to know see here there is a one command is there command model command model so command is the one model if you want to execute any linux command so command also one model now see here these are the very simple command model ansible p o m n d command model what is the purpose of command model this command model takes a command name followed by list of faces De uh, so del uh, delimited arguments so it will execute the all linux commands whatever you want you can execute it so this is the command model if you want to execute any commands linux commands so that case we can use a command model so that case we can use a command model so how we can use a so this is way this is as of now i am using ada commands now see here ansible your group name hyphen m module name hyphen a arguments ls hyphen l a so you know right what is ls hyphen ltr you know right what is that ls now you know right so ls hyphen ltr what is this command it will display all files and directories correct that is date and time based on this right now i want to check my host machines files and all now let me come to here let me come to here this is my host 2 right this is my host 2 this is my host 2 here i am going to do touch space i am going to create a, i am going to create a one file bevaps.txt now understand now go to here this is the host one so touch space touch space this is the host 1.txt okay just i am giving for understanding purpose now if you use ls hyphen ltr what commands it will display it will display that particular file right particular path now if you see here here also it will display ls hyphen l ltr or ls la whatever you want we can execute right see here i can see my file now from server i want to see my host machines list of files so how to check it this is a command ansible what is the group name guys here group name devops iphone m what is the model name what is the model i want to run my linux command see here command model iphon a and so which command you want to execute ls iphon ltr lrt whatever you want so now if you see here now see here so in this host mission there is a one file devops.txt in this host mission 110 what is the file i created host 1.txt i hope you got it right anyone any doubt here actually this is my host one this is my host two in this host mission i want to see list of files and in this host mission i want to see list of files from where we want to check it from server i want to see all list of files so what is the command this is a command ansible group name or i don't want to group i want to check only this mission In that case we need to copy this ip address paste ip address iphone m what is the model name iphone m is nothing but model command iphone a and uh, single quotation whatever you want you can simply you can give ls also now see here whatever line is command you want we can check it now see here we can see devops.txt both ipsr both both means uh, just give uh, group name that's it yeah. now see here i am giving group name devops under this group how many hosts you configure two host correct two host now the two host mission we can see this is the one host there is one file available this is the another host so under this host this is the file now got it so these are the these are the very very simple only now you know right so now we know so what is setup command what is setup and all you know setup means to check the connectivity now we know 
one model so enter also they are asking very very important so which models you you know what are the models frequently used so which models you know now we know so ping model now we know right uh, ping model ping is the one model so how to check uh, this is the syntax ansible group name this is the group name means uh, this is the group name or we can use ip also group name or ip now i am giving devops next iphone uh, m iphone m is nothing but model what is the ping model now suppose if you want to see some information about my host this is the command ping also one model now we know right setup model setup model uh, now what is the command how to run it ansible and the devops group name iphone m iphone m iphone m space and what is the model name? what is the model name setup now you know command model now you know command model if you want to execute any linux commands if you want to execute any linux commands now this is the syntax see here ansible ansible group name or ip address whatever you want that is your wish group name or ip address iphone m what is the model name guys command and iphone a next which command you want to execute i want to execute ls command or ls iphone ltr whatever you want we can so like this we can uh, check it so like this we can check it now see here first go to your so these commands are executing host machines or server guess it where we have to execute all these commands only server only server don't confuse here only server only now see here ansible now i want to execute date command now i want to execute date command now see here what is the current date and all we can check it tuesday 31st this is the utc time this is the utc time so this is also utc time now got it whatever you want now see here i want to do i want to do touch space now check it for example abc dot for example dev uh, what is this in both missions i want to do something config config dot txt config dot txt now see here changed 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 means so now one is one part is done now check it now ls hyphen now i'm checking whether this file is created or not ls hyphen l lrt hmm. now file is created or not so both missions file is created or not now got it clear sudhir what is your server not no server lo execute chestam so server lo a command execute chestano this is the command ansible group name ee group lo any ip lu undayi two ips undayi correct so ansible server connecting both machines and this is the command what command i executed so ls hyphen ltr now it will display both machines now it will display both machines files ls hyphen ls now got it for example you want to remove the file ah, if you want to remove the file what is the command you know right linux command tell me what is the linux command if you want to remove the file rm hmm kill command rm for example i want to remove this file hmm tell me rm space linux command i want to remove one file what is the command linux command rm rf sir rm space rf forcefully r f forcefully and what is the file name config dot txt now got it now so now only it is removing one machine or both machines both host or only one Both. Both. Because here I have one group name, right? Under this group, how many host IPs I added? 
two host IP, sir. Two this hosts, is the one host yeah. IP. This is the one IP. Now it is removing. See. Now changed. We can see. See changed. Now if I run, if I run second time, what is happening? Now that file is not available. See here, nothing is happening. Now check it. LS hyphen, LS hyphen, LS or LTR. Whether file is available or not. LS command. Now earlier we have two files, right? You can one two only. Now we can see. Now we can see only one one file. Only one, only one one file. Now, what you understand? So, command model. If you want to run any Linux command, so what is the model name? Command model. If you want to check connectivity between your server to host, what is the model name? Ping model. Suppose if you want to know more about host information, what is the model name? Setup model. Now, anyone any doubt as of now? So these are the ADA commands. ADA commands is nothing but single line commands. Single line commands. We are going to execute only one one line command. We are going to execute only one one line command. Going forward, I am going to write playbooks how to execute multiple models. So now how many models are executed guys at a time? One model or two models? This is the model name, right? I executed only one model. Suppose I want to execute more than one model at a time. So this way not not uh, suitable. So that case we go for a playbook. That case we go for playbook. Yes or no? Clear? Anyone yes, any yes, doubt yes, here? Yes, so these are the three models. Inter also very very important. Most of the people they are asking. So can you can you tell me few models in Ansible? Now how many models you know? Three models ping model, setup model, command setup model. model and command mode. Just remember at least remember five to ten models. So, most of the people they are asking so which models so we mostly we used or can you tell me? Can you spell? Can you tell us so a few Ansible models now? Coming classes, we are going to use more models. Just remember at least five to ten models. If anyone is asking, so simply we can explain all these models. Now we know what is setup model, you know, what is command model, you know, and what is the ping model, you know. Anyone, any doubt? These three models? Purpose is same only. Suppose if you want to know more about, uh, go to here, go to here, API, go to official website, go to official website, just a type uh, which model you want. So this is a copy, command model. So what is the purpose of command model and how it will work? Uh, so these are the we can easily understand. So these are the we can easily understand. Most cases you can use the short models, command model, even without specifying the collection of keywords. Okay. So command model takes the command name followed by the list of space delimiter arguments. So we have to pass arguments. Iphan A, I given right, Iphan A arguments. The given command will be executed on all selected node missions. So this command will be executed all node missions or all host missions. That's it. Now the command model will not be pro so proceed through all the shell variable like uh, so underscore host and all. We have to follow some syntax and all. So these are the so if you want to see change directory, CMD, string. If you want to create, if you want to remove, uh, I know right. Uh, so we removed some files. Uh, so these are the arguments we can pass it. These are the arguments we can pass it. So this is the playbook. Actually, you don't write, leave it. So coming classes, I will show you how to write a playbook and how to use uh, this uh, models and all. So as of now, I used ADA commands. ADA is nothing but a single line commands. ADA is nothing but a single line commands. Clear, guys? So anyone any doubt as of now? I hope you got some idea, right? Yes, so how to execute ADA commands and so how to configure Ansible server and so node mission and so how to copy SS key from server to host mission and how to check connectivity get with, uh, connectivity and all and how to see some of the models. So what is command model? 
what is setup model and what is uh, you know right ping model okay ping model. so this yes, sir okay so that's it from my side next class uh, i will show you few more models so anyone yes, any doubt no sir yes, so thanks everyone bye so we'll connect tomorrow just try to no, set up try to set up also my server and host and practice